Well, hello. I have good news. I have good news from the banks for once. Uh, it turns out I was afraid that they would hold my money from the last merch run. I would just be completely fucked. They would fight me and have to petition governments and shit. But no, at the end of the 120 days when they legally can't hold the money any longer, they do actually pay out. So, uh, considering I'm not going anywhere and nothing else is going anywhere... I might as well just do that, right? I can cycle through those theoretically forever, unless something, I, I mean, unless I personally get put on some kind of list, which I haven't yet, contrary to popular opinion. So it's like, I might as well just do one like every six months, set up a payment processor, burn through it in a week. It'll make it super exclusive and rare. You want my, you want my t-shirts? You have to be ready when it goes live, because there is a, 100% guarantee that fucker won't last two weeks. So it's extremely exclusive, extremely privileged as a club. Only OGs can get the merchandise because uh, of artificial limiting factors in, in supply. So that is, that's my plan moving forward. We're going to have the Halloween sale, I'm pretty sure. I'm, I'm already planning for it because I was thinking if this stuff goes well, the four-month hold goes and they pay out, I might as well do the, every six months do a sale. And I figured I'll do Halloween and spring or something. Do something for for fall and for spring. So that's where it, that's where I'm at right now. The the harvest worked. Everything went well this month. Extremely pleased. Uh, the only thing kind of sad is, um. I, I gave up on Dick because of fucking Digibro. And I feel like now especially I made the right choice. And I don't want to kind of like... Because the, the conversation I had with him I feel was very complete. Uh, if you go... It's on the channel. I haven't taken it down. Um, and I uploaded it to madattheinternet.com if you're curious. It'll be there uh, after I end up deleting it or YouTube deletes this channel. So if you're curious about that call um, that I had with him, you can go listen. Uh, there's not really too much else to say. I kind of felt like I knew exactly what I was going to say. And a lot of people seem to think that I was trying to bend him into an ultimatum. And that is not true. Um, I knew there was a, I, well, first of all, I knew there was a 0% chance that he would just go, yeah, you're right. Uh, DJ Bro is a piece of shit. I'm not going to talk to him anymore. Um, but that also wasn't really the point. Uh, I had, I, I just have... A really bad feeling in my bones and I can't shake it and when I get a feeling like that when I get the heebie-jeebies I, I have learned uh, to trust my my senses so uh, immediately after that he goes he goes on Twitter and he's just like outright defending the shit to everyone he has all of his followers all the listeners to his podcast on that Twitter feed and he's fucking fitting them off with a stick on this on this lollycon shit and then as soon as that happens just yesterday uh netflix catches a lot of shit for this movie called cuties where it's like a, a bunch like four different 11 year old girls uh it's a movie by a, a french senegalese israeli woman and uh it's it's about twerking it's about four 11 year olds twerking um and supposedly, based on what people are trying to say, is that it's a wholesome film about fighting conservatism and sexual liberation. But if you watch the trailer, there are, like, gratuitous genital shots. Like, the, the camera is focused on the crotch of children, and they audition 650 people. And Dick is on fucking Twitter defending this, too. Saying shit that I can't defend. Like, um, it's it's not my children why do i care and it's like well because those people are gonna if you had kids those people are going to be the people that your kids have to live with and chances are they're all going to be fucked up because they got molested in france by some weird production group that thinks that this is a great idea for a movie which i don't think was even the intention i had a conversation with Rakeda today I woke up very early in the morning to have a conversation with Rakeda today, so if you're interested in that, go look at his channel. Um, but while talking about that, I came to the realization that the movie probably isn't meant to be seen. It's like the producers, where, where they made Springtime for Hitler or whatever, and the whole point of that movie was to flop. It wasn't actually supposed to be a success, which is why when it succeeded, 
uh, it caused problems for, for them. Uh, I think this movie was just supposed to be an excuse to cast 650 girls and record them twerking for the production company um, in Minecraft. And I'm not committing defamation here or whatever. Uh, not that they would ever fucking care, but who cares? Uh, I think that was the entire purpose of this. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't think they ever actually intended for anyone to ever watch this movie. And it somehow ended up on Netflix like a lot of other absolute fucking garbage does. And someone saw it and posted it to 4chan or whatever. Uh, probably on TV, because TV is where all the pedophiles post on 4chan. And uh, people were like, uh, that's actually kind of fucked up. And then they posted it to Twitter, and then it spread like wildfire. When I looked at the video for the first time, it had something like 3,000 likes and 3,000 dislikes. Now there's hundreds and thousands of dislikes on that video. Netflix came out and put out an apology, but they didn't even apologize for the film. They apologize for the um, for the poster, and I, I, I guess I might as well pull that up. Uh, I have a tweet, thankfully, so I can just show you my tweet and read it like a hack. Uh, oh, I should probably sign out of Twitter because it shows that I'm I'm banned, which is probably not a right, not a good idea. What the fuck do I sign out of? Tw oh, <laughs> okay, there we go. All right, let's see, Firefox. So this is the French poster, which is not, I mean, even this is not like some high art looking film. It's like kids in like their underwear wearing bras and panties outside of their clothes, but it's a lot better than the American one. Uh, which, number one, I don't know what the fuck is up with that chick's face in the middle. That looks like a completely Photoshop face. Like, they, it kind of looks like Greta Thunberg's face, like, Photoshopped lazily onto this random body. But it's com completely unacceptable. You can't, like, it's fucking little kids in, in, uh, two pieces twerking. Even, I mean, this is bad, but this is not the same thing. This caliber, uh, I mean, and her face looks way different than that. They Photoshop the fuck out of this. I don't understand. But this is what Netflix apologized for. They said that this poster um, was the one that was offensive and they've changed it. They're probably going to make it look exactly like the French version. And they said it was not representative of the movie. And it's completely wrong. I don't want to I don't want to play the trailer because it's it's really gross. If you're interested in watching the trailer for cuties. Uh, you can pull it up on yourself, but it, I mean, it is gross. And then, there's two specific shots in, in the trailer that if they were individual GIF images posted on 8chan at the heyday of 8chan, where I was a global volunteer, and all we deleted was the DOS standard, which was the test that the courts use to determine child pornography, I would have deleted it because there are, were a lot of pictures that people were posting at the time that were just children in leotards. Uh, and poses that focused on like directly on their genitals and that is the exact same kind of shot that pedophiles were posting on HN and I would have deleted that even back then so I don't like I don't know I have no idea how people are defending this as some kind of modern art piece it is just a uh, a black French woman you know, propped up as a shield for whoever the producers are or the production company uh, the writers and shit, all those people are probably fucked in the head. She might be fucked in the head too, but because she's a POC or whatever, she's going to get a pass on all of it. Um, 4chan said that they would be deleting any stills from this image as well, that were as I described, so it, it, I just don't get it. <laughs> I, I don't get how this passed the sniff test. I don't know how um, this got through. Well, I'm I'm lying. I do know how. Uh, it's just uh, it's it's better to like fake not knowing why it, it it uh it does better for the soul I guess. Oh yeah, that's my that's my hot take on on cuties. Um, oh, and, and the description is no better. There's actually let me pull this up. Uh, I'll I'll read this review for the movie because someone said, uh, read the reviews. Don't don't just judge it by its cover. Read the reviews. I want to read this particular review that I found from the spool. This is reviewed by Andrea Thompson, so it's a woman. And these two particular paragraphs are, are really worth reading. Um, 
And this is Andrea Thompson reviewing Cuties, which aired at Sundance 2020. Uh, Such a repressive environment tends to birth extremes, and sure enough, Amy is drawn to a dance group at her school, which not only offers escape, but an outlet to express the emotions her stoic culture forbids her from voicing. With all the zeal of a convert, Amy is soon leading the girls into increasingly provocative dance routines and taking actions that soon appall even her new friends who are already eager to sexualize themselves. In another movie, they'd be symbolic of a generation's over-sexualization and victimization, which would be a good thing, saying that this is fucked up. But she goes on to say, But cuties would rather explore the preteen dynamics Do Cure has a keen eye for with an interesting addition of some magical realism, which is complete fluff and bullshit language. I don't know what the fuck magical realism is in terms of 11-year-old girls twerking. Uh, It's not without some discomfort, though. And this is her. This is not my addition. It's not without some discomfort, though, as the camera zooms right in on the girls in a fashion far more suited to adult women, which couldn't be anything other than cringy. At least the film doesn't pretend that any of the various cultures Amy is struggling to navigate will ever do right by her, although it offers another way between extremes, perhaps where true freedom can be found. She is trying very hard to apologize for this film, but when uh, presumably what is a, a professional film reviewer is reduced to calling something cringy because the movie is sexualizing children too much, uh, <laughs> yikes, oof, not a good look, chief. But whatever. Apparently, it's just a marketing gimmick, and people talking about this uh, in and of itself is worse than the movie because you're giving it attention. Uh, that's that's a spicy take too. You can't you can't denounce something because that's promoting it. And in the mind of a 13 year old on Deviant Art, where all all attention is good attention, all publicity is good good publicity, and not a pathway to radicalizing a fuck ton of people who look at shit like this and think, wait, this is institutionalized. People are doing this on a wide scale. This gets millions of dollars in funding from big companies. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm being optimistic. Anyways, that's my take on cuties. Is anyone anyone confused on my take on cuties? Someone said that I should explain why, and I'll just read a, a post that I said. Why would I say that Lollicon is child pornography why would i do that when i said this in january of this year and the underlying part is anyone who and this is me to, uh, who wrote this anyone who clutches pearls or fags and the rationalization that there is some sort of lollicon to child rape is gateway has absolutely zero evidence to back that up uh, i found my evidence while hosting 9chan that is the answer uh, the same exact people who were posting lollicon on the lolly boards were the same people posting child pornography on B. I have zero doubt in my mind at this point uh, that there is not a huge, huge overlap in, in those two groups. I mean, to the point where maybe not every person into lollicon has sought out child pornography or is a pedophile, but I would say like, all, actually, no, I take that back. All of them are. Um, they may not have sold out child pornography, uh, but they are pedophiles. And I think that everyone who is into child pornography would also be into to Lollicon. And I think Lollicon is also especially dangerous because the, the, the Japanese, when they make these, they always make it like an innocent explore, exploratory thing. And... I I think that will convince some of these people that like kids want it. I think that's like the fantasy and it's, I think it's damaging. I've I've gone complete. I have completely reversed my position on this. I think that um, it's dangerous and I don't think that uh, people should be exposed to it. The only thing I I will say is that I don't know if it should be criminalized because um, I don't see how it can be. Even when I was sitting there as the the total proprietor, the sole owner of 9chan, trying to think of some sort of standard that I could apply to determine if something was, was lollicon, I, I couldn't think of a really sufficient way to do it. I couldn't think of a way to really keep it off the site. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know if that's possible. I just know that if I know someone is a self-avowed lollicon, 
I don't want anything to do with them. And if people want to invite them into their homes and form tight knit social circles with them, uh, it's going it's going to bite you in the ass. Because there's just there's no way anything good can come of that. Anyways, fat people. Am I am I right, guys? Uh, Momo kind of started doing porn, and I kind of want to do a little bit of a backstory on Momo Kun because you've definitely seen her. Uh, <laughs> for a brief period of time in 2016, Momo Kun became very famous because she uh, she did this cosplay of Samus and became thick Samus. The problem is she got really thick, like she ate herself until she was doing um, liposuction, and now the fat distribution on her body is completely fucked up, and, oh, this is her from 2014, so right before this time when she was, was still like a big cosplayer, she made this really uh, snide message saying, sorry, sweetheart, but I don't have to take my clothes off or talk inappropriately to get attention. Like you try to do so hard. Maybe you should look at me as an example instead of bad mouthing me when I don't even know who you are hearts. Um, completely, uh, completely eating that message now because she is just doing full on pornography, uh, with this metrosexual looking Asian guy. It's really bizarre. Um, and neither of them look into it. She's just like the most, uh, like limp, pathetic, just like laying there, and he does not look into it at all. And he looks, he looks gay. I wouldn't be surprised if he's just like a porn star who gets paid to do it and isn't into chicks at all. Uh, and I, I really, I have a personal thing against Momokan specifically because. She DMC. I think it's her cam model agency, but she DMCA me. DMCA's me every day. Um, she. <laughs> I I get these emails like every single day, and I'll try to find a picture of her actually. Um, how fat she is now. I need like a full body picture of her because this is a good picture to show like how big she is. Um. Or was when she was at like the height of her popularity. But I need I need like a, a full body one. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find it. Because everything that I can find is uh is just porn. People are posting GIF images of her being fucking slapped around and shit. Which is already degrading. Like how do you how do you go from just starting porn to like doing facial abuse shit? Oh man, I'm not going to be able to find anything. Oh yeah, that's porn. I'm glad I'm not showing this browser. I'm glad I have multiple browsers so I can look around for this. No, this is probably fucked. Yeah, oh well. You just have to take my... You can look at it on the forum if you really need to. Because I can't show this for like a podcast. Or I can't show I can't show like any of her recent stuff on YouTube at all. It's all porn. Uh, though it's really obvious that she's getting liposuction around the gut and her face and upper body, but she's not doing it to her ass at all. So she looks like, here, <laughs> I can't show you, I can't show you what she looks like right now because everything that she's been doing is uh, pornography. But I can show you a, a visual representation, which I think I think is really fair and really cuts to the core of what she has done to her body through physical alteration. I hope, <laughs> just show it. I'm not gonna show it, I'm not gonna get my shit nuked. Uh, if, you're not, if you're not able to watch right now, if you're listening for whatever reason, uh, I, have, I have put on the, for comedic effect, I have put on the, on the OBS a picture of Squidward with really thick thighs surrounded by Krabby Patties, because uh, that is the closest thing I can think of to the Momokun's body. Here, I think some I think someone has sent me a picture that I can use. Oh, here we go. Actually, I'll start. You know, I'll start with the the more reasonable one before I I just humiliate her. I think the left is like super photoshopped because um, they 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 have okay. The women on the forum play this game, right? 
where they try to find unphotoshopped pictures of Momocon. They'll find pictures of her at like a, a, a hairdresser or a salon where they post a picture of you know their work on their website or their Facebook, and then compare it to the the actual photo that that Momocon put out, and you'll see how heavily edited it is. So it's like it's not even the same person anymore in these two pictures. She's completely, uh, like re re sculpted her entire figure. Um, but here, <laughs> this is very unflattering. This is quite rude. Um, this is basically cyberbullying. This picture right here. And uh, if you're listening, and I'm just I'm doing a slideshow right now, which is quite rude for podcast listeners, but. Uh, this is a picture of her. She's on a beach. Uh, she's got the Squidward cellulite shit going on. Um, you can kind of see the folds in her back. Like I said, the fat distribution is like really fucked up. Uh, it's, it's really hard to explain. And she's got a, a great wedgie going on. It's just a, as unflattering as possible. And she's on the back of a truck. I don't know if this is like for a porn shoot or what. Um, but it's high, it's high quality. It's really excellent. I mean, this is her, this actually, okay. I, I, I told someone that this made me sad, this message. And they said, um, don't be sad for her. Cause she's such a bitch. So if you, if you feel sad after reading this or hearing this, um, know that she's a bitch and, and the women of the forum would not want you to feel bad for her. Uh, B slash G clip. I don't know what that means. I assume it's a porn term. Uh, video of me close up on my ass for a morning fuck slowly getting used to this stuff oh boy girl slowly getting used to this stuff and we'll be opening up more and more uh like sad face nervous face thank you guys for taking your time with me i am slowly transitioning into some more porn material and i'm really excited weary face pink heart i love it i think i'll do more videos more so it will just take some more getting used to or uh, sad puppy eye faces. I appreciate you guys liking my content so much. Uh, that's a thirty thirty dollar clip, and it's just her uh, bent over, you know, taking taking the Venus, and that's it. Uh, so that's that's the fall of uh, of a woman who six years ago said that she would never ever do anything, not even just porn, just like anything lewd. She had completely written off. She had she had said that she would never do it, and she pitied other women, other cosplayers who did it. Here, I have to pull up a quote. Here we go, here we go. This is what I'm thinking of right now. Quote, Anisa Joma, who is the iDubbbz uh, girlfriend, quote unquote, we are all just one bad stream day away from an OnlyFans career. Uh, rest in power, Momocon's dignity. Uh, I think that might be it for Momocon. I don't know what else I can say. Uh, I don't. I've, I've thought about doing a full stream on her just because I know there's so much, but it's just sort of like a, a slow decline of a of a someone who made a lot of money because she got super big and, and cosplay is like a chubby girl and she couldn't take care of herself. So she just started uh, using her money to reinvest in herself by uh, doing plastic surgery, getting lip fillers. Her face looks really fucked up. I wish I had a picture of just her face like recently. Um, that's not Photoshop because she... She, it's so obvious like that she's done things to herself and you, you wonder why she's I don't it's, it, wonder why she she has like why would you choose to like make get like a permanent duck face going on without taking the wrinkles out of your face and as a result she just looks like a haggard 40 year old woman uh, who has resulted, resorted to porn instead of, like, a young woman who's trying to, like, exploit her body for, for cash. So. Just 40 pounds away from an OnlyFans. <laughs> Pick of Momokun's face. I, I better not regret opening this. Kenny. Kenny, you motherfucker. God damn it, I can't. There it is. Oh, jeez, good. This is perfect. Thank you. 
Uh, this is from September two years ago, so this isn't even like the most up to date. Look at this. Look at how look at how fucked up she looks. And that's like I don't even think that's with all the lip injections and shit yet. You can still see like the the forming of like the the bags under her eyes. But yeah, that's why she photoshops it so hard. No, I might have a more recent one. Oh yeah, this. This too. She looks so much older than she is. How how old is she? I guess I should be telling you that, you that but I don't know. Uh, she looks forty, and it really it really demonstrates how good Adobe technologies are at making A into B. Oh, okay. So the top is um from a nail salon or a hair salon after she got her her cut. Bottom is her own photo, so you can see how much she's she's doctoring her photos to make herself look better. It is dramatic, like how much she's actually changing about herself. Anyways, okay. Um. Oh, you can't see here. Sorry, I, I apologize. I apologize. Uh, okay, I already showed the butt. This is the this is the tweet. This is the tweet where she looks real fucked up. And this is the the four square. <laughs> uh, okay, I'll give some background to Tommy while you guys beef your eyes into this. So this week uh, has been a dramatic week for Tommy. Apparently, I am just horrific bad luck for anyone who talks to me. Because as soon as I had that conversation with Tommy, uh, his his father dies, and then he gets committed. So I'll cover that. Um, the news broke on Twitter real real succinctly. My father passed over quietly about half a century ago. My sister was with him at the end. They all visited this morning. He'll be given a military funeral. So that's Tommy saying that his dad's died. And this is a Kaddish for his father, which is a Hebrew for eulogy. Extremely weird eulogy. I'm not going to read it all because I'll kill myself uh, in the process of doing that. But it's just, it's, it's mostly about Tommy, which I don't, I don't know. Okay. Maybe a Kaddish is slightly different from a eulogy and you're supposed to talk mostly about yourself, but I really don't think that's the case. I think it's supposed to be actually about the person who died. Correct me if I'm wrong. My, my listeners from the greater Israel, uh, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to talk entirely about yourself at someone else's funeral, uh, no matter what religion you're from. So just to, this is, yeah, this is just him. Uh, okay. This is Tommy talking about his relationship with his father a little bit. Uh, my pragmatic way of looking at things is entirely his doing. Very little can be described accurately in black and black or white. Zero and infinity are just reference points. Um, there is always lively political and religious discussion going on in our house. Uh, we learned about Spen Young. One of the most valuable lessons my father taught me, and I'm reading this, and you'll see why, I promise, um, is that many others have thanked me for passing to them is to let the other person speak when you first meet while you're storing their name face and rap in your head he didn't give me much but a hard way to go after 1970 but he did put out at times when his parental conscience forced him to and he saw saw to it that i had an outstanding education today after being bullied all my life for it i am thankful finally to be a, to finally be appreciated for my mental abilities and the ability to deliver verifiable facts about things people are hungry to learn. Um, the things I'm most sad about today is that Gene didn't get to vote in what was the most important election of his news junkie marketing executive life. At least he died raging at the monstrosity in the White House, understanding that I don't blame him for what was done to me because it was the cultural norm at the time, and that my reaction to it was textbook beyond my control. He died at peace with me and even treated me to the last crazy round of calls. Um, he asked him to sell his auction off his belongings. And he says, Tommy says the last words I ever yelled at my father were, I can't do that. You're not even fucking dead yet. Dad, 
My father was a great communicator on par with Ronald Reagan and Donald Trump, but he was nowhere near the insufferable asshole, his words, or pompous ass, Aunt Barbara's, that Il Duche is, and he never really all that cruel to us or nearly as violent as some of the horror stories I hear from my transgender and intersex siblings about their fathers. My father was notable marketing executive... Um, darling of Chicago society did a lot of public speaking. It, I, I just wanted to read some of this because it is extremely weird how much he rants about Trump, like for no fucking reason. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I really don't know what's wrong with Tommy. It's hard to say like, okay, I know, I know he's like two spirit and whatever. He's all female except for his penis, but I really don't understand what it is that, that, drives him to to do the things he does okay my father died and here's here's how i feel um my father died and he in fuck trump my father died and so on and so forth it's, it is just strange uh now i don't know what happened after this but very, very shortly after this Kaddish was published, um, Tommy started live streaming. And I'll play the live stream. It's five minutes long. I'll probably pause it for commentary at some point. But uh, let's, just, let's just get through it because there's a lot to take in here. And it's kind of... Uh, yeah. it, he's streaming from a building, so it kind of cuts out after a while. Just so you guys know, fly. I know. I know. I know. So, you know how, like, I don't know what you would call I guess like a bandana. He has like a rainbow hippie bandana covering his face like an anarchist. Um, and this is while he's sitting here in a room talking to police. He appears to be detained because he's sitting down and the police are sitting down. I'm not sure what they're waiting for, but he's live streaming with his phone at the time. She's recording. I'm not recording. Streaming. Oh, okay. Streaming on my Facebook? Uh-huh. I don't know what the point is, though. Better I should just charge the phone. Is it almost dead? Oh, it's, it could stream as long as I, I want to. Hi, guys. Matthew Golden made another false report. This is just an outrage. I don't know. Matthew Golden is the name of the, I want to say the sheriff deputy. He, he's the, the top dog at the Tucson Police Department. Pretty sure. And last time I spoke to Tommy, uh, there was a two and a half hour long conversation with him. If you're curious, it's still on the channel. It'll be on Uh But he explained that he was uh, detained at a psychiatric intake uh, because the police made false statements to say that he was a th danger to himself, which would allow them to uh, take his person. Basically it's very, it's very hard to take someone in against their will if they haven't committed a crime. So he claims that he was willing to go in for treatment that his insurance would have paid for, but because of false statements by the police department, he was held against his will for inpatient treatment. And he's saying here that the same thing has happened, that they falsified that he's a danger to himself or others uh, to get him involuntarily detained again. Where he got this information from, but it's all false. He's making all kinds of false statements about my uh, medical services, false statements about me, false statements about what I do online as far as any. Claimed I challenged four cops to a fight when the only thing I ever do is challenge cops to a training session in a gym to show them how it could go differently. Right? I, I, are you guys willing to like say like how you feel about what's going on? Good order, guys. How do you feel about doing that? Do you feel you did something that wasn't right? That's a private matter. Well, I can speak to you about it, but I don't know who's listening. Well, yeah, well, you understand that um, I'm, I'm making an assertion 
Ha! An illegal order. How do you feel about that? Do you think it's credible? But as of this point, I don't want to. This is a, a medical file, and I don't want to discuss that with. Oh sure, I, I'm I'm just saying that the whole medical file has been falsified, and that you're being used illegally. He's trying to get them to talk about how they feel about being a co-conspirator and depriving him of his constitutional rights. That's basically what he's doing. And the cops are saying, uh, I can't talk to you about this because you're live streaming, which I don't know if that's true. Um, but the cops wouldn't know anything about that anyways. They just have an order. The cops are not like higher ups. Very, very intentionally, cops are like removed from the process of issuing warrants and, and uh, medical documents for, for involuntary detention, right? So he's completely wasting his breath with these guys who seem extremely annoyed by this behavior. To do something to me that's unconstitutional. And I agree you say that. And, and, and you agree. Also, the cop, I'll back up a few seconds because I had it on a good still. Her hands in the lap, legs together, looking away. It's like really defensive body language. I don't know if she's nervous or if she's like grossed out by Tommy. But it's really, it's, I mean, it's really loud, which, what she's saying with her posture. It's illegally to do something to me that's unconstitutional. And I agree you say that. And, and, and you agree that she probably my, doesn't want to be my filmed. reasoning is correct, and it would all depend on the actual facts of... She, 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 doesn't, she doesn't want to end up on camera taking a knee on this guy's neck. <laughs> right. And, and gold. But you're, you're saying that if I'm correct in what I'm saying... Golden is deeply wrong. Tommy, we're saying that you contacted the sergeant for IA, and you've done, and that's where you need to contact if you feel like it's wrong. Oh, well, they already have a, a, a Title perfect. 42, Section 1983 complaint against the whole frickin' department over this. Perfect. It's been going on for six years. It's a long time. It started in Erica Zverzik's year, when he was still a captain, and he passed it off to Jim Scott's year, uh, when he was still a lieutenant. And, and, and they promised that they would at least investigate to some extent. And if it merited calling the FBI. That's a, it's a great insight to Tommy's life. Like he calls up the police station so much. He knows everybody who works there and he knows everyone who's worked there for like the last 10 years. Golden has admitted it. Uh, Brady and o o OPS has admitted it. There are federal crimes being committed. They are totally handcuffed and doing anything about the 9-11 callers. Anybody in this town who has been violated electronically, tough shit. They don't have it. They can't at all. I don't know what a 9-11 caller is. Know. The people I talk to, I talk to morale. They can't do anything about it. Investigators, if you if, if you suffered a property crime, oh, he he he's saying nine one one callers. Yeah, that's weird. That's a weird way to reference though. You ain't getting a bag. They ain't making an arrest. If somebody gets beat up and they're not killed or injured badly, there's no follow up. If you didn't catch the perpetrator right there, the only time they ever caught anybody with me was when the, the uh, reporting officer spotted the guy that took my horn. Otherwise, they, you know, I'm trying to report drug dealing on my corner. I'm getting attacked by one of the drug dealers. Finally, Sergeant Wilson He never Wilson shuts up. He has a captive audience. They have to fucking sit there and listen to him. He's not going to pass up this opportunity to, to chew their ear off. He usually has to call them 20 times a day to get that kind of attention. Well, enough to answer a call when I got attacked for the third time. And they nabbed the guy, but otherwise, it went. You know, it's like the sergeant. Okay, he okay's the thing, but then it never gets assigned because you got. No this is where it starts to cut off. It ends abruptly. But I got to put through this all the time. <laughs> His live stream has two viewers, and they're sitting right there. That's Eleven cool. visitors today. Oh, that's the end. That's where it ends abruptly. Uh, that's as far as I know. That's the end of what we know about 
what's happened with Tommy. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, I think that's the end because it would have been in the OP. Yeah, I don't, it's it's strange. I wonder if he did do something really stupid because, uh, I mean, his dad just died. If there was ever a time for psychiatric break with someone as unstable as Tommy Tudor, that would be the appropriate time. But, um, I don't know. All right, this might be a short stream. I have I have limited options here, but I do want to bring up um, at least one other thing. Uh, I did a stream a long time ago. I think like at the very start of when I started doing streaming, and I was doing mostly just streams on people. I um, I talked about Secret Gamer Girl, and I talked about how Secret Gamer Girl has always fervently denied their dogs. They have always denied it, always said that we got the wrong person. And Zed, who's the guy that docks Jim, has been adamant that he has the right information. He has been adamant for four years that this has been the right the right uh the right information. And finally, and just to remind you, this is Secret Gamer Girl. This is the this is the picture that we had for, for her um some time ago. And just yesterday, after a long anticipated uh, wait, this got leaked. I don't know who leaked it. I don't know how they got it. But that is so fucking def definitely the same person. Because they have such a weird face. And I, if you're listening, let me try to describe this. The most defining... Like, they have a big, fat, bulbous head with, like, the jowls and shit. But the most defining feature that I, I don't even know how to describe... His nose has such a peculiar shape it looks like the uh, oh i don't even know it's like the 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 floating uh uh bicycle from halo it, it's it's very strange it, it's like a it's like a shelled peanut with like flaps on it it looks like a porpoise that's it that is the shape of that nose it is a porpoise so you have a nose that looks like a porpoise sitting on someone's face and it's so distinct. Someone said it was a pinched nose, but it, it is a porpoise. That is the word. Um, and I have never seen a nose like it. And just based, I mean, everything else looks like a, a dead ringer match too, but that, that fucking nose is as distinct as they come. Uh, we have, this is, <laughs> this is definitely secret gamer girl. Uh, four years of denying that that information was them, that, that that's not them, definitely the wrong, the wrong story. Uh, Kiwi Farms doesn't know what they're fucking, they're talking about. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I hope everyone feels incredibly vindicated. Uh, is there anything else? Have I missed anything? I might do a K video. Just, just to, to fill up time. Boogie. What has Boogie done? I know that Boogie and Dick want to start a stream together. They want, Dick wants to reboot the biggest problem in the universe with Boogie, which is just... I don't know if you've ever... I, I didn't watch the Frank Russell, Russell. I don't know what the fuck his name is, but he Boogie had a debate with some guy named Frank. And I didn't watch it, but I know how Boogie is in debates. He rolls over immediately. He, um, you, you challenge Boogie on anything and he'll start saying things like how pathetic he is, how, how he's terrible, how he is a danger to children. Like there is nothing. And then when he goes on the Ralph retort, he starts like, uh, defending the Holocaust and shit. And he just, he rolls over immediately, um, to anything, to whatever audience he's talking to at the time. I don't know how you can have a debate show with someone like that unless he just, has the ability in his head to switch that off and become obstinate and defend any point to the death. I, like, unless it's a completely an act and he can change it on a whim, I have no idea how that can happen. Uh, all right. Let Frank Hassel. The, the vicar's abort site. Nah, nah, I've had enough of that. Uh, Ethan Ralph's, girlfriend's father has made a website called abort the retort.com which is just going to be his girlfriend his potential father-in-law's takedown of him 
if it, like I don't know if you haven't heard of this, go check it out. I guess I'll hopefully archive it so that we can look at it for posterity in the future. But this is how he's chosen to spend his time. I guess it is pretty funny. He wants to sell um, abort the retort merchandise and everything. I don't know if he's literally just trying to profit off the fact that his daughter is a retarded whore or what, but. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen anything quite like it. Uh, we've seen a lot of lol cows. I've never seen like a generational lol cow or like a father is also like an online attention whore. And also so is his daughter. Um, crazy, crazy fucking world we live in. And he's totally verified it. I, I, there's no doubt to anyone that that's actually, that's actually him. It's not like a ruse cruise. It, he he's posted pictures of himself with a mask saying abort the retort on it. He's posted pictures of his concealed carry permit and all this shit. Definitely him. Definitely his his motives. Uh, pure Kino. Exactly. All right. All right. Let's fuck it. Let's watch a K video. What else? What else are we gonna do with this beautiful Friday besides watch K? Don't have time to set up bingo, but I'll watch a video or two. Oh, jeez. See, I always thought she had gotten better at cooking, but... Uh, I'll watch two, actually. Here. I want some... I, I, I could go for some spring rolls, so fuck it. We need a fatty. I already did a fatty. I, I need my... I need K. Hi, people, and I'm back cooking again. And today I'm going to be doing my version of spring rolls right i'm putting the uh it's not quite hot but it's you can hear it sizzling oh i'll not cut these onions up but going all over the floor not over uh so there we are bring it come all up as you can hear. I, I, I still don't understand how she cuts an onion like this. It is really completely fucking mangled. Um, sizzling or cracked. There are some really thin strips, but then most of it is just like chunked raw onion. Stir around. Just, um, what I've done is, you can't see, but all I've done is I put a tablespoon of oil in. Yeah, you, really, you really can't cook an onion that's minced this... Uh, this unevenly or correctly it's gonna burn or be raw and again i guess i can't talk about cooking anymore because i'm not that great of a chef myself i can't do bingo i haven't i i didn't plan this beforehand i don't have a bingo card that i can pull up okay as i predicted i think the yeah, the onions are like only half cooked, some of them, the bigger chunks. The mushrooms look burned. Maybe that's just because mushrooms always look fucking awful. And that is bean stops. She's completely unchopped, but I guess that's normal. Bean sprouts, sorry. A little bit hard. Never felt bean sprouts before. Went before they've been cooked. Bean sprouts so are really good. I first had them when I was in Australia. They They're really good in pho. They just add texture. The There's not much else to them. So I think I might need to add another one more. As you can see, the the the. the uh, bean sprout. That looks like a mess. A I mean, it's just beige. Now I'm gonna put some I guess it's normal if it's fried, but. In it. Why is she got it? What? So is that normal to put egg noodles there. in a spring roll? Feel I'm being told no. I'm being told no, you do not put egg noodles in a spring roll on the inside. The fuck is she doing? Right, that everything is the exact same That's color. Sweet. Just break the jar, don't worry about me. It's and a bit fucking raw. Oh, and, and a bit no, it's her version. Okay. Time. It's a version of spring roll that has no oh, roll. It's, so it's just it's, stir it's fry. What I'm doing, it's, well, you've got your choice. It's a bit of Gordon Ramsay and a bit of someone else I'm watching. So. This is Gordon Ramsay. Okay. This is what happens. The English conqueror. 
in you know a foreign land. They bring home their food and they just make it beige. He said not to use rice paper. Man, you didn't say what to use, but. I'm going to put a bit of egg yolk glaze on it, egg glaze, egg yolk, glaze, whatever you want to call it. And then I'm going to get a, a spoon, turn the bloody thing off. And I'm going to put some Why is that? That's a flour tortilla. We're going off the rails. That is a Mexican flour tortilla that she's adding, she's offloading this beige into. What the fuck? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a, quite a few more, but I'm going to do, I'll give you a similar thing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put some... <laughs> this is like an egg roll taco. She just did some ground beef up in there. Over, egg yolk it, and then show it you. Right, I mean, see, it, it looks like I've gone mental with egg yolk. It doesn't matter, as long as they bake. Uh, Wait, she's going to bake it? Spring. What? It's uh, fried! Uh, yeah, oh, we are electric, not gas. It's, it's supposed electric, to be a fried. Whatever. I'm going to put them in for about 10 minutes and I'd keep check on, checking on them. I did forget to grease my tray, so I put some oil underneath them and hopefully they should cook and that will be. She egged it. She like glazed it with egg. Right, oh my you god. Can see, they've come out and the out. pan is soaked in oil. Right, as you can see, I've cut little. She's got glasses on. I've never seen that before. I think gonna eat it. Come on. Get the mush around that bad. Lee looks like completely mm. unchanged. No, it's like not Nice and cr good. Is it crunchy? Is it tasty? Did you see that? He put one finger up. What's okay, wait, wait. I wanna I wanna say What does he say? What what what's the word that's gonna come out of is it crunchy? Is it tasty? Is it not done enough? What is what is what's he gonna say? I want I want chat. He says it's yummy. Thumbs up. It's okay. Crunchy. Crunchy. Okay, I'm getting I'm getting a lot of crunchy. I'm getting a lot of yummy. All right, that sounds like a. Did you see that? He put one finger. <laughs> Chat's going in. Oh, She laughs like I do when, when I think something's really funny. All right. All right. <laughs> it's all right. Did who? Did any of? Did any of you motherfuckers no, say no, it's all right? He said they, oh, oh. Oh, he said they taste nice. Yes. So let's see if we so can it's get all right, this right. Kate. Don't I give yourself a. Don't, oh, don't lie. I was there when he I said it. Me. So anyway, if you you're gonna help me if I get it wrong, yeah. Uh, if you like what you see, please keep viewing me. If you want to give me a big thumbs up, he gave a up, thumbs up. Be much appreciated. Is that not all right? Yeah. Uh, if you want to leave a comment, I'm not gonna scroll up. You're fucked. You actually said it. all right. You're fucked. And I'm not looking for that shit. Or you know someone who hasn't subscribed? Get them subscribing. Get yourself subscribing. Get everybody subscribing. All right. Thank you. Bye. We'll do one more. That was pretty good. I, I, I had said some time ago that, okay, this is true. This is true gamer lore, right? Um, I started doing these cooking streams during stream.me in 2019. And then after I started doing this shit, after I did my stream on her, all these other motherfuckers, like that Pengzo guy who had millions of views on his, all at the same time started doing videos on K. They all stole my shit. They owe me tithes. One day I will collect from them, but uh, the the negative consequence of that attention was that she started being really self conscious about her cooking, and I stopped doing them because her cooking just became all right or it's okay or thumbs up. But now I I am re I am reinvigorated. I am hoping that every everything she makes is as big a clusterfuck as that. That's pretty. That's what I liked. And I'm I'm really not liking that Pengzo guy anymore. Not because of that, but because he he's like Ricky Berwick, where he has to comment on every fucking thing. It's like nobody asked you, dude. Shut up. Except he's not like a mangled wee little midge. He's not a, a monstrosity and abortion of God. Um, I I can't. I have I mentioned this on stream? How much I fucking hate Ricky Berwick. How much I'm so I'm so tired of seeing his fucking face everywhere. Every 
fucking tweet I opened has some completely off-topic reply from Ricky Berwick with 10 million fucking likes. That, that's just like body horror shit. I fucking hate him. He's not funny. He's like an attention whore. He's like a really super creepy out there version of like Frederick with his with his body shit going on. It's awful. I hate it. Ricky Burke, just Google it. You'll find a million videos of him being silly. Oh, look, I have a disability, everyone, but I'm not afraid to be myself. Fuck you. I don't give a fuck. I'm tired of seeing your face, Ricky Berwick. <laughs> fuck off. Uh, this, this looks pretty great. I'm tempted. So far, that's the best looking one. I don't know what a Rizzola is, is but we'll find out. Hi people, and I'm back cooking again, and today I'm going to be doing rissoles. Right, as you can see, I've got all the ingredients found me. Fuck all the Ricky Berg stands in my chat, <laughs> you asshole. Stop encouraging him to post that shit. Now I'm going to cut the honey on up. Ooh, Why does that onion have an onion inside of it? Is that like a British onion? What the fuck is that? Why is that onion like that? Take all the skin off it. It's old, okay. There we are. I'm gonna cut it in half so I can get the... It has layers. Rest of the... Uh, onion thing that's not actually... It's an aristocratic onion. Is it royalty? Now I've cut it. Cut it off. I'm going to cut these as thin as I can. Get, that's a, that knife is a recent acquisition. She had that old dull that knife very good, so I before. To, this one looks like it actually can cut things besides just her hands. Supposedly, knives that are sharper are, are safer to use. So that is going to go into But she always dish. believed that her dull knives saved her one. hands, which I don't think is true. Um, I'm going to cut the other one. Well, I'll cut the other one now. I'll turn it up a bit. Then I'm going to put them all in a dish. I am scared to death of these knives. <laughs> Right, so I've cut the only you had an able-bodied son to help you with the meal preparation, Kay. Um, I guess I've he's I guess he's able-bodied but not mentally eat. able. Uh, then the breadcrumbs. So okay, two, it's just just two, mince two or hack ground beef, whatever you want to call it. With cumin. Wait, no, is that um, cumin? No, it's not cumin. It's just breadcrumbs. The next on the list? And uh, We're raw onions. Uh, salt and pepper. Salt. Uh oh. Pepper. We're in the day. The cumin. Even though Just I cumin. Like salt and pepper in my, uh, okay. Is there any chance that this will turn out okay? Because I guess so far it's just like, like mixing the, uh, stuff together. I can't. I can't. I don't know what a risoles is, pepper. but whatever. Um, a table. Two percent chance of this coming out okay. Come on. Tablespoon of parsley. Get in. She's actually oh, using a spice. That's some fucking rare. And a teaspoon of rosemary. Oh, rosemary is so. Oh yeah, get her a slap chop. So vicious. <laughs> the taste is so hot. That's a teaspoon. Same, I'm bleeding in. And I'm gonna mix it all in. And then I'm gonna add, 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 I'm gonna hag, add, add, <laughs> add, I can't talk to me. I'm gonna add an egg. Oops, throw him in. You'd love to add. slap her chops. Momo comes into that. Don't do that, that to my, my to my K though. Right, I think, I'm, let me just check on my list. Yes, I've got everything, yes, yes, done. I'm gonna mix it with my hands and then I'm gonna put it in the frying pan. Right, as you can see, can you see? This is just raw onion. That looks like a. What is it? Together. What is a risotto? Flattening it out. I'm up. I'm putting it. I have to look this up. Pan. What the fuck is she trying to make? What the? F it's just a hamburger. Right, as you can see, I put my hands in. I'm going to 
more than one in. Uh, I'm going to put the, the first one out that I uh, put in. No, chat, chat, this is just a hamburger. Why is this called a risole? Rizzolas. This, this, this mother, this is just a hamburger. Yeah. That's very good to play it. Is it is it French yeah. or or British people that we you hate? You can see it's now for this, finished and for this done fake and burger. Up. So now for the taste test. What the fuck is that? Why is that sound effect there? Kind of a joke and kind of not. What the fuck is this? Stop let editing letting Lee edit the videos. Why is why is that in there? Apparently enough, it tastes like a burger. It tastes like a burger. Mm. Well, I put all the seasoning in it said to do it. To do. Mm. Lean iron grill. Oh, that's not bad. I think so. Right, as you saw, they said it was good. Well, he gave me a thumbs up. He didn't give me a 10 out of 10. But never mind, doesn't matter. Um, a lot of people are getting confused as well. People who are selling t-shirts are not me. I am the only one selling t-shirts. Anyone else selling them are fake. If you buy it from <laughs> someone else, they are It's not been so long since she's bitched about t-shirts. No That's one it. is selling them for me. I am selling them myself. If you want a t-shirt from me, you know the designs. There will be a link in the description. I'm so happy. Channel page on this video. Anyway, whatever. But yeah, if you don't buy, if you buy a t-shirt from someone else, you're gonna be conned. Anything with my face on is a lie. It's fake. So don't get it. Um, get my t-shirts only. Um, that, then that's from, then the, you know it's le legit from me. Right. Now we're gonna have another go. If you like what you see, please keep viewing, mate. Eh? If you want to give me a big old thumbs up, be much appreciated. Uh -uh. Really? Oh God. Um, so you've only been doing this for five years. Want to leave a comment? Please feel free. The more the merrier. And if you haven't subscribed, or you know someone who hasn't subscribed, get subscribing. And I know a lot of you think I'm lying, right. but I really can't remember the ending out for. Oh. Bye. Why was that cut there? Ouch. Wait, hold up. She, look, she she like lost her breath trying to say bye, and then Lee just edits it into a different cut bye. of her saying bye, but in incorrectly, so you can still hear her attempt it the first time. What what a delightful video! I'm so happy she's back to to being K again. That's great. That's really that's really made my day. <laughs> <laughs> to see that she she has regressed to what she was uh, when I first found her. <laughs> Excellent. No, okay, this is not cool. I, I'm gonna show I'm gonna show you this because if I'm gonna suffer, you're gonna suffer, and I, I should probably not do this because I know all you you very funny people are gonna just start doing this all the fucking time. Uh, but fuck you. Here, I'm just gonna show you. This is Ricky Berwick, if you don't know. Um, I guess I'll throw him up on the... Of course, I, I go on this rant about how I fucking hate looking at him. And then some weeaboo, some fucking anime avatar sends me this shit. In my Twitter DM. Slides into my DM, sends me, or tweets at me. And it's just... That's... That's his every vi that's his everything though. Like every reply he makes, he makes hundreds of replies every day of just him photographing himself slithering around, his bones breaking, bits of him falling off and being re-added to him and shit like a Mr. Potato Head that's all fucked up and mangly. And he just it never stops. It never stops. I see him all the time. Uh I think I have actually <laughs> he's he's the only person I have blocked on Twitter right now. <laughs> 
<laughs> that's like my that's like my routine when i get my new twitter account i make the rounds i i start following all the people i'm interested in and then i make sure to block ricky berwick <laughs> so i don't get exposed to it on accident because it will he'll pop up under a tweet you're reading a tweet it's viral you're like oh this is an interesting tweet and then i wonder what people i wonder what people are saying about this tweet i wonder what insightful comments twitter has for me about this tweet i'm interested in and i flick my fucking mouse wheel down the first goddamn thing i see is some body horror shit with Ricky Berwick screaming at his, making faces at his camera and fuck it. I have to block him for my sanity. <sighs> All right, that's it. Um, Matt at the internet uh, I'll be uploading this to the podcast feed today. I'm back at my battle station, so I can stream 1080p. I might do video game streams. Don't know. I'll think about it later. Uh, I'll see you guys next week or whenever I stream again and uh, take it easy. I'm stealing this one. Stealing this song. It's mine now. Um, yeah. I don't know if this is accurate because I don't know the terminology of like anime shit, but you are uh. a self professed, uh, what is it, Lollicon fan? Yes. Does that mean, that, what does that mean? It means that I am a huge fan of illustrations of little girls getting fucked. Oh. Now. <laughs> And then you come across someone online whose palette is a little more refined than the average guy. Like Digibro, see, he's a prince of literacy. Your rap god, anime fancy, you're a connoisseur of cunning, and he's making money off an audience of retards and half friends who can eat red for all I care. Anime was a mistake, and I'm the eraser, god save ya, I can't explain it. No taste, these guys, no tits, no hits, no ass, damn fine, they say, I swear that shit is fucking gayer than prison rape. But at least the gays had the decency to say, I don't know, fuck men their own age. Too deep, not pig, disgusting's what they say, and while it's just a drawing on a page, the thing that makes it calm is that she's underage. What about by the video games? That'll make you violent, nice try guy, but you wanted to fuck kids before you struck upon this shit, so I do not buy it. It's an outlet for my urges. Tell me when do we start the purge, cause pedophags are a bunch of retarded spurgs and a scourge upon this earth. You're a Philistine who runs on fields. You're a pedophile who should be killed or at least returned to the hills. This ain't Kansas faggot, so click your heels. I'm a big fan of jerking my cock. To illustrations of little girls getting popped. I'm a big fan of jerking my cock. To illustrations of little girls getting popped. Understand this, I can't quit. I'm up to my dick in make up tits and flat chested kids. I'm on the front lines of this shit. So call me sick, get up and help you sleep, but I will fight for this. And when they call me creep, I will remind them that they're all next in the crosshair and their loss here will mean a loss everywhere. It starts with no more Boku, no Pico freaks on the street and jokes about minorities until it affects everything and everybody. I'm sorry, I can't stand idly by while they take away my life. I will fight for pedo rice till I die. What the fuck is wrong with this guy? Is he mentally compromised? Sean, it's time. Cut his line, delete everything, and set it all on fire. There's nothing inherently wrong with imagining a toddler sliding up and down your dong. As long as it's not really there, it's all in my mind and I'm in the clear. Your mind is fucked up. Now my ears need a good scrub. After listening to you, fuck your tongue about how you like your pussy young. I'm sorry, a honey is not honey, and you're not a bee. Actually, you're a plague of society, and we're right after me. You'd be the first to see a noose and swing from a tree. Did you stop? I'm a big fan of jerking my cock. To illustrations of little girls getting popped. I'm a big fan of jerking my cock. To illustrations of little girls getting popped. I'm a big fan of jerking my cock. To illustrations of little girls getting popped.